Hello to my Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Aries. The energy has already been cleared. Let's lay the cards out and see what your answers to the questions that I asked source for. Let's see what the answers are. Like I said, the energy has already been cleared, Aries. Let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. I'm talking to you if you have Aries anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but anywhere in your birth chart. So let's go. Let's see how you're using your energy. Hashtag Mars. <laughs> your ruling planet, Mars. Let's see what you're putting your energy towards. Let's go. The moon is in Virgo, so we don't have any questions whatsoever because the questions were in the previous reading. Source is saying to you something. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. What in the world? It's a lot going on in your cards. What in the world? Wow. Somebody definitely feels like, wow. Okay. <sighs> Strength card came out in a reverse. Nine of Swords came out. We have the Six of Wands in reverse, Two of Wands, Page of Wands, Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups came out in reverse. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, well, you all know I leave, read the cards upright and in reverse. So, uh, do, 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 do. Let's focus on turning these cards that's in reverse upright. Nine of Swords. Okay. That's a nightmare. Like something has ended. Something has ended and sources like you can wake yourself from your up from your nightmare at any point in time. Something has definitely caused some kind of emotional wounding. And so somebody to some degree feels completely burned out by something. But I can off I can tell you this. Source is saying I'm trying to keep you motivated and willful, like to be to move forward in something. And somebody may feel like they poured all of their emotion, their heart, blood, and soul into something. And it's two situations in particular. Somebody may have felt like either somebody doesn't appreciate and kind of left you out in the cold with something. And um, but source is saying to you, a lot of information is coming in just as a reminder from God, like if through your your so uh, your solar plexus chakra, that you can move beyond this. You can be victorious. You can get back in the saddle again. It could have been a love relationship that could have caused some emotional wounding. It could be family relationships that call emotion cause some kind of emotional wounding. But something happened where somebody's like, okay, I don't know about how strong, how, you know, to tap into my strength. And so I'm sending, sending good vibrations and good energy. Um, sending good vibes and sending good energy your way. Uh, Aries, as I'm looking at these cards here. Yeah. Mm. All I can tell you is just a lot of opportunities trying to come in. Oh, there we go. Good. Source really wants somebody to heal. You know, definitely heal from something that, um, because you're a healer yourself. And so Source really needs your strength, needs you to tap into that strength. Because there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of energies that Source is sending across your path to heal. And the universe fully supports this. So Source wants you to move on from this depth of disappointment. Maybe take a trip somewhere. Maybe. If you feel like, you know, I need to, I need to get in my car. I need to get on a boat, a ship or train somewhere. I need to, a plane. Here's the seven of swords. So it's two situations in particular. So it's one side. Hey, I'll pick up your swords and move on from it. Three and seven is 10, right? This is about, uh, instant manifestation. So what we say out of our mouths, we are instantly manifesting that this has been a really interesting cycle. And I've been telling everybody, it's like, okay, that full moon we had in Gemini is no joke. What we send out to the universe is what's coming back to us. And now that the moon is in Virgo, the result of what we send out speaking to the universe is coming back. So source is saying three of wands here. It's time for you. To, that's why I say it's time to take a trip. It's time to go somewhere. It's time to, you know, even if it's a trip in your mind, this is not about, I'm not trying to pocket watch and see who can afford what or whatever. Sometimes it's just kind of like, if, if you feel like you can't afford it, setting up your living room and saying, okay, let me take, let me buy the cuisine or let me, let me buy the food to cook. Let me, you know, like watch videos or something like that. This is where you tap into that creativity. You all are extremely creative sign. Here we have the Ace of Cups. So it's really wants you to start focusing on moving on from these emotions and tapping into your own creativity. Whatever that creativity is, tap, tap, tap into it. And, um... So that you can move ahead, move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward from something. Because I got a feeling that somebody may go on a trip and meet somebody. And it may be totally unexpected. 
But Source is trying to remind somebody that you are limitless. And meeting somebody is not necessarily a love interest if that's not what somebody wants. But just meeting somebody who just can, you know, kind of sort of fill your cup of water back up and give you some creative ideas of how to move on. There is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. That's right. The number zero. Like I said, there are no questions this time. Um, as we move to closing out cycles, as we move towards closing out cycles, joy, affirmations for joy. I was created for a purpose, period. And somebody is deeply spiritual. We're not talking about religion. Somebody is deeply spiritual. And so somebody is a healer. And I, I feel like somebody don't know how they heal people. You could be a singer and your voice could heal people. You could be an, uh, an artist in some way, shape, form, or fashion. You could be a teacher, a preacher, a um, some kind of a spiritual leader, something you're doing is going to help heal a lot of people in the universe. You have the, you have the backing of the universe. Great things happen to me each day. These are things you can say to yourself. My very presence is a blessing. That's what I'm saying. I believe in myself. Joy is a choice and I choose joy. Greater is coming. I am enough. That's right. I am enough. That is what I have for you. Um, I will see you all on midweek Wednesday. Like I said, there are no questions for the Motivational Monday reading. They're an extension of Sunday's readings. And I will see you all on midweek Wednesday. Bye.